Hey guys, welcome to Belly Strong. This is week two of your postpartum recovery and I've got a short mobility routine for you today. I'll be doing this in standing, but some of these exercises can be done in sitting if that's more comfortable and just have a chair nearby for support for one of our stretches later on. So we're going to start just with some breath. So have a comfortable standing position and we're going to breathe in through the nose as arms go overhead and exhale back down. So relaxing the shoulders, opening that chest up as you inhale and then exhale. And again in and out. You're then going to bring one arm overhead as you inhale grab the elbow and exhale pull with a slight side stretch into a tricep stretch and inhale exhale pull stretch out that tricep and again inhale exhale pull And inhale, exhale, pull. One more each way. Carrying around your little one can be tough work on the arms. So we want to do a little bit of shoulder mobility and stretching. You're then going to bring your hands to your shoulders. And we've got a little bit of a trunk twist. So try to keep the hips facing forward and the twist really happens from the hips up. We've got a slight abdominal brace or a little bit of tension here for some stability. And you can do this in sitting, which will be a little less load on the pelvis. Four. Three, two, and one. And then just push the arms forwards as you stretch out the shoulder blades. Really round the spine, tuck the chin in. And then back to center. Roll those shoulders back and down. Open up the legs a little bit wider. And keeping the knees straight, we're just taking the hips from side to side. It's a very small movement. My upper body is not moving at all. It's almost as if the bottom half of me or my hips are on a little conveyor belt and they're just moving from side to side. So this is for a little bit of hip and pelvic mobility and you might feel a bit of an inner thigh stretch here. Four more, four, three, two, and one. You're then going to change the foot position into a bit of a mini lunge for a calf stretch. So front knee is bent, back leg is straight, and you're pushing the hips forward until you feel a bit of a calf stretch at the back really driving that heel down to the mat here. And we're just going to hold this for a few seconds. Depending on how flexible you are, you might need to have your feet quite wide apart in order to feel that calf stretch. And then we're going to add a hip movement. So you're taking your hip towards the front leg and back. Again, for a bit of hip and pelvic mobility, a bit of a hip flexor stretch here too. And four, three, two, and one, and then changing up. Other side, take that 
foot back, heel down towards the mat, back knee straight, front knee slightly bent, push the hip slightly forward until you feel that calf stretch. And just hold it there. You can do this with a hand on a wall or a chair also for a bit of support. We're then going to add that hip side movement. So almost like a hip hitch towards the front leg and back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. We've got a quadricep stretch. I'm going to use the chair today. So what you want to do is put one knee on the chair, grab the ankle, try to keep both knees in line and tuck the pelvis under slightly to feel that quad stretch. And we breathe throughout all of this. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. I'll do this side on so you can also see my side posture. So one knee on the chair, knees as close together as I can get them in this position. Slightly tuck the pelvis under so you feel that quadricep stretch. And you just hold here. Four, three, two, one. Coming back down, one final stretch. Clasp your hands behind your back, pull the shoulders down, open the chest, and take your head down to one side. You should feel a neck stretch here. And just breathe in this position. In and out. And then gently over to the other side. Open that chest and breathe. The breathing is a great component to work on for recovery for a, a lot of reasons. Pelvic floor health, core function, just relaxation and recovery. So I always like to include it in each workout. And come back, just roll those shoulders back and down. That is our release work done for today. Feel free to stagger these releases throughout the week to keep you mobile. Have a look at some of our other videos and join the community. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon on another Betty Strong video.